guys, it's Joanne from 15 Spatulas, and today we're going to make my favorite crispy waffles. I will not go near a soggy waffle. Just thinking about eating a soggy waffle gives me the heebie-jeebies. I really need it to be golden brown and crisp on the edge with a fluffy and soft interior, and that's how these waffles are. Let me show you how to make it. In a large bowl, combine one and a half cups of flour with a half cup of cornstarch. Then add one tablespoon of baking powder and a half teaspoon of salt and whisk that together to combine. Set out two large bowls and separate two large eggs, putting the egg whites in one bowl and the yolks in the other. Then add two cups of buttermilk to the egg yolk bowl, as well as a third of a cup of grapeseed or vegetable or canola oil and a teaspoon of vanilla extract or vanilla bean paste and whisk that all together until it's combined. Add a quarter cup of sugar to the egg white bowl and we want to whip this to soft to stiff peaks and these whipped egg whites are going to give the waffles a much fluffier and crispier texture and you'll see over several minutes of whipping they'll thicken up and start to look like a fluffy meringue. Add the wet ingredients to the dry and whisk that together most of the way. Then add the whipped egg whites and stir and fold those into the waffle batter until it's well mixed. And it's fine if you leave some lumps there because you don't want to over mix this. Then spray your preheated waffle maker with some oil and pour the waffle batter in. And my waffle maker is pretty big so I use about one cup of batter for each waffle. You're gonna let the waffle cook for about five minutes until it's golden brown. If you're a fan of breakfast and brunch recipes, I'll be doing more videos like this in the future, so make sure you're subscribed to my channel. Now at this point, the waffle isn't quite ready. We need to put the waffle into a 200 degree oven. Just put it directly onto the oven rack, and this will let the steam escape and prevent the waffles from getting soggy. And this will let the waffle get crispier than when it comes out of the waffle maker without over browning the waffle. And this will also keep the waffles warm while you finish the rest of the batter then the waffles are ready to enjoy. All right, I've got a waffle here to taste. I spread it with a little bit of butter and drizzled it with some pure maple syrup. That's my absolute favorite way to eat a waffle. I'm actually gonna break off one of these quarters. Let's give this a taste. Mmm. I love these waffles so much. They're soft and fluffy in the middle, but they have that super crisp exterior to them. I mean, you heard when I chomped down on this waffle, it is seriously crispy. And it's got really great flavor too. A little bit of tanginess from the buttermilk. It's got that caramelized flavor and a nice like, flavor and aroma from the vanilla extract. Just a really great go-to recipe for breakfast or brunch. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed learning how to make this recipe, and I hope you give it a try. Let me know in the comment section below what your favorite waffle toppings are, whether that's berries or cream or maple syrup. I'm curious what your favorite is. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys next time.